Welcome back, everyone. As we approach Veterans Day, we are shedding light on the challenges that some of them face and what resources are out there to help them as well. Research from the Veterans Affairs shows veteran homelessness increased in 2023 by more than 7%, and we need to change that. Compared that to years before when it was lower. So sometimes incarceration can be a roadblock to veterans too, finding permanent housing. And that's why I'm so honored to have military veteran Danny Sneed with the organization Path to Freedom. And Danny, there are a lot of veterans that really need some help. How do they end up on the streets? How do they end up incarcerated after serving our country so in such a dignified way? Well, what I hear you doing is, what I heard you did is point out the problem. Yes. But I want to highlight that I went from homelessness to home ownership. Yes, I love that. So we, How did you do it? Well, the thing about it is, I heard a sound bite from a commercial. He said it was easy like one, two, three, but it's not easy like one, two, three. True. I trusted the process. Mm -hmm. And I had a support group. And some of the services you, we talked about, you know, they talked about earlier, mm -hmm. I utilized those same services. So it was case management, it was therapists, it was VA services. So it was a support system around me telling me I could do it. I love that. So they put hope into me. And I, I, I kind of like bought into it that I could start over. And that's where Path to Freedom came from? That's right. So, so there was life after incarceration. Fantastic, because unfortunately, I mean, people automatically assume if you're in the military and you're coming out of the military as a vet, you, you, you're strong. We know that, but every person is human, and sometimes they just need a little help. So tell us how Path to Freedom helps veterans out there. So the, the, the mission is to change the prison cycle by reducing recidivism. So mm -hmm. Path to Freedom deals with uh, reintegration. Gotcha. Okay. So most people, when they get out of prison, come back to the same people, the same place. Yes in the same environment that led them to prison. So we try to highlight that. Mm -hmm. And this Path of Freedom is a support group. And what it is is about change talk. I believe the most influential change component is the conversation around change mm -hmm. and why it's important. Is it also important too to be around fellow veterans? Because oftentimes when someone who is not in the military talks to a veteran, they think that they don't understand. That's peer support. Exactly. There you go. About. Yes. Mentorship. In AANA they call it sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And so it's the same thing when you bring a group of people that has the same experiences. Even the clinical field says it's more therapeutic when people that share the same life experience can work together. That's the power behind self-help groups like AA and NA. Right. So we take from that and we take the uh, Path of Freedom. It's just a support group. So real quick, because I know we're out of time, but where can people get more information? What's the So website? we're at St. John's downtown. We meet every Thursday from 530 to 630. That's okay. 2019 Crawford Street. Uh, Houston, Texas, 77002. So what we'll do is we're going to put this on our website, everybody, so you can get more information. If you are out there and need the assistance of this incredible group, we definitely have you covered, and we'll have it on CW39.com. Thank you so much, sir. And right. Thank you for what you're doing and the example that you are leading awesome. for a lot of out there.